it starts this conversation by asking you uh, how can the B schools of today uh, offer mm-hmm. students you know what can they offer the students today so that they are equipped for the 21st century see um, i think coming from me this would make little more sense because as a campus we have decided to get very very student centric so as i was mentioning already that in a very short span for about 7 years we have already become the fourth largest iim in the country and we only do full time long duration residential program which in a way means taking the complete responsibility of the learning of the student there is no online much and there is no executive education much on our campus and when you take such a huge responsibility of the student not just their uh, physical and mental well being but also what they learn in the sphere becomes your responsibility and with the advent of chat gpt ai ml the ar vr you know i think content is not a problem uh, industry needs students managers who are high on critical thinking high on negotiation high on collaboration and these are softer skills which gets developed on a campus a campus which is vibrant so we have made mindfulness and social impacts to be our core value and these are not just the boxes to be ticked there are practices around it we have kept the stadium as a central location of our campus because there's so much of leadership lessons which can go through a basketball game or a soccer game team camaraderie leadership collaboration negotiation all this is taught by all these activities so i guess these schools especially those who are having students on campus have to create a very wholesome holistic environment where music choreography analytics everything go hand in hand it can't be this or that okay um my next question is about b school rankings you know yeah. they are they have been in the talk so much now but somehow indian b schools do not make it to the top uh, leagues why do you think it is so uh, professor baskar briefly touched upon yeah, this yeah i guess he talked about that yes. how the salaries that we are able to offer or the rois like I, if i talk about my campus possibly we have the best roi because till very recently our fees was very less so these are not the conversations in rankings and all i guess a very high weightage is given to the fact that how much of internationalization has happened on campus uh well just wait and watch i guess uh, we are um, in that moment where uh, things like study in india is is picking up we would for sure become a um, regional learning can a uh, center for learning um, i already have students coming from all these asean countries be it uh, sri lanka or nepal or um, even african nations so okay we would have people more with international passports not necessarily from west but from other parts of the globe and we very soon are going to become um, what you call a global guru okay okay yeah. so if a student comes to you and asks for your advice that they are getting an opportunity in a b school abroad mm. in a good b school versus whether they should go for a b school in india mm. what would you advise be for them see uh, i guess uh, our time has arrived so uh, why would anybody like to go in other parts of the globe where uh, uh, economy is not vibrant as ours okay. so i guess uh, india is uh, really shining and uh, anybody who wants to make a brilliant career in times to come india is their destination notwithstanding yes uh, it will be okay also if some of them choose to go abroad but eventually i guess even for the kind of growth that youngsters expect they will find it in our this part of the globe which is uh, the global south as we call it okay yeah. okay um, as per you what has been the one biggest achievement for higher education in 2023 see i guess um, i would come more from the space where i come from which okay. is management education mm-hmm. uh, and especially there too in among iims uh, the week tier 3 iims are growing you know first of all we are completely atm nirbhar which is something which i was mentioning and we are talking in terms of global scale so we are no more just happy having 120 students on campus we would love to have a global scale we would love to have a critical mass on campus uh, 
truly uh, with complete usage of technology which enables us almost becoming uh, integrated to the rest of the world so all that which has happened in the recent time could see the massive adoption of technology i guess we are in a very sweet spot where a uh, lot of um, lot of changes have just helped us uh, become more integrated with the rest of the world okay uh, once again in your opinion what would have been done better and what are your hopes for 2024 uh, we can make even our um, courses little more industry centric we can bring more industry on campus there has been recent changes in terms of professor of practice positions being created on campus but uh, still i guess unless and until the industry comes forward i feel that somehow uh, industry has not been such a big participant though they are the biggest beneficiary of what we create so industry has to come forward and partner with institutions uh, whether it is in form of uh, lending resources to teach or uh, setting up uh, centers for excellence for research so that is one part which i really look forward to the industry all right all right how would you say b schools are preparing the students for the corporate world of today you know where aspects like esg are integral see uh, which is i can talk more from my school as i said that we have created a vision like creating socially responsible mindful leaders and when i say mindful it is from both the perspective so i am talking about mindful consumption from consumers perspective and mindful packaging and mindful marketing from sellers perspective and these conversations are very important in classroom now and students also have become much more receptive to it especially post all this pandemics that we had people do realize that uh, businesses cannot be done any which way other than the sustainable way so uh, uh, students are accepting the world is accepting and that's the only way to go about it having said that let me tell you as a nation we have always been one it, it, so i find it very stupid when people teach us sustainability hamare desh mein jahan pehle parda banta hai fir table cloth banta hai फिर वो छोटा टेबल क्लॉथ बनता है फिर वो पोछा बनता है हमें वो क्या सस्टेनेबिलिटी सिखाएंगे सो इट्स जस्ट वी हैव टू क्विकली हैव फेथ इन हाउ वी वर डूइंग थिंग्स एंड एज आई से आई कम फ्रॉम बोध गया बोध गया इज ऑल अबाउट बुद्धिज्म इन बुद्धिज्म इज अ रिलीजन ऑफ ट्रेडर्स सो वी नीड टू लर्न मोर अबाउट हाउ वी हैव बीन डूइंग थिंग्स एंड हैव फेथ इन इट दैट आंसर इज डेफिनेटली द हाईलाइट ऑफ दिस कन्वर्सेशन थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर साहेब दिस वाज वेरी इंसाइटफुल लवली चैट